Match 12 of the Ispahani Bangladesh Premier League 2024 is going to be the Rangpur Riders versus Durdanto Dhaka. Now, Rangpur Riders are the host team, and hence Nurul Hassan will spin the coin. It's a tail? Yes, it's a tail. won the toss. What will you be doing and the reasons for it? Uh, I want to bowl first. Yet again, a captain wins the toss and uh, selects to field first. Rangpur Riders, here's the side for them. They're playing the same team. Three changes in the Dhurdanto Dhaka side. Uh, yes, uh, they've got Saima Ayub, the young Pakistani batter. In all the three times, the, the teams winning the toss actually this wicket has been pretty productive so far today in particular and Babur Azam opening the batting attack for them. Baba Azam, wonderful cricketer, look at those numbers. 140 matches for him, best of 5 for 31. You're doing very well and here we go. That's a classic stroke. Two covers, Ben King is off the mark finally. That should his confidence the world of good, considering three low scores. Well, two ducks and a single. That was when the king at his best. He fancies the offside, and if you're in that channel, you will punish it. Is it going to be his night? Strokes like that. He stays in the middle. Short, and he obliges, does Brandon King. Few bounces, goes for a boundary through backward point. As I mentioned a few deliveries ago, he fancies the offside. Whether he's driving or playing square. And that was a loose delivery. Short, too wide, and was punished. Yeah, his eyes lit up. He saw the delivery was short and there was uh, plenty of room for him to play the stroke. Well timed, certainly. That's hammered. First delivery. Welcome, Shorifal, to Silet International Cricket Stadium from Brandon King for a maximum. That's exactly a point I was making. You want to make sure you get it in the right area. And that certainly wasn't. was a little bit too close to Brandon King. And he slapped that high and hard over long on. An amazing stroke. Doesn't look like a man who got two ducks in a single. Certainly doesn't. Oh, inside edge. Quick single taken, good calling from Babur Azam. Good awareness, and that's what top players do. Take advantage of, uh, you know, even in good deliveries. Presence of mind, taking the single. That was a much better delivery on a good, better length. That could have easily gone onto the stumps. Full. There's the stroke. A beautiful stroke. Overcompensating Taskin Ahmed. And King punishes. Only strength is my point. He's a much better player when he's stroking it. And that was pitched on leg stump. And was stroked away quite convincingly. Very well played, it was on the pads, it was full. Took the invitation, did Brandon King. And the change in the batting order is certainly working for Short, pulled, there is the fielder at square leg. And Taskin has the last laugh. Aladdin Babu takes the catch and Brandon King, he departs. Always a good side for any fast bowler. To bowl a short delivery. And Bernard King went for it. Hit high on the bat. And an easy catch at deep back was square. And celebration for Taskin. I've got him, that's what he's saying. Fell for the trap, Bernard King. He's gone for a quick fire 20. The rank for riders, 22 for one. Tom Spinner pitches full and Babur Azam takes full advantage of it. On drive, lofted one, one bounce for four.
lot of good first delivery from Sonny. Was well pitched up, right in a hitting arc. And a player above Azam's quality. Good shape, good shape from Troyful. Steaming in. Uh, overthrows. The backup in the process has missed it. Goes for four runs. And that was poor cricket. Poor cricket. There was no need to throw in the first instance, but then look at the backing up. My word, the bowler must be furious. Of course, he should be. That's better. Heads it over the boundary line for a six. He needed you, Ahmed, to perk him up. Say that he was not moving along smoothly. Look at this for a shot. From uh, Arafat Sunny. Just the length made it so comfortable for him to balance on his back foot and swivel round with the slug sweep. Tremendous shot. Quite comfortably done because of the nature of the ball. That's one. But here he faltered once again in this over. Dragged it short and it turned out to be a gift for the batter. He just pulled it into the vacant area for another boundary of the over. Whatever short, allows the batter to swivel around, take the left foot away and just put it away very, very easily. Control shot, one bound. Give the ball air this time and ball is in the air and taken. Very, very well thought out there. He mixed up the deliveries, tossed the ball up, got the ball maybe to tweak a bit and get the toe end of the bat, and that is the end of uh, running. Yeah, you're right. A bit of flight, push the ball outside the off stump, a hint or turn. And when, as a batsman, you're looking to hit the ball very hard, you lose control. Only managed to edge, and he's annoyed, annoyed with himself. He should. Oh, he's just caught the eye of the bowler. You'll see if we have another look at that as the widest signal. There was a definite movement, a trigger movement by Nurul Hassan Sohan towards the offside. And the bowler tried to bowl it away down the line. Can't see the movement. Yes, he caught his eye, tried to spear it in in the process. Bowled it down the leg side for a wide. But a delivery, push and run, scampers through, direct hit. Now, they're appealing, they feel they might have their man. Ampa will be going upstairs. Ah, ding, and it's not out. That is the end of the seventh. Holds it wide, put away. There's some effort. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Hit all the hard work, Babu. And then just uh, pushed it away, slid away from him. They're going to check for the boundary, but I think it's you can see from the reaction of the fielder that it's gone and touched the triangles there, right through his fingers. Uh, wasn't it a case of slide happening a bit early, and that's why. Short. Sure. Forward of square and just blasted that away. Easy as they come. Now, with this pace, you have to pitch the ball up. He wasn't that short, but that was enough for Barbarazzo to clear his front leg and then hit the ball over mid on for another boundary. They're doing. Oh, take that. That's blasted. Chase on and to no avail. Second time, the fielder has gone across, covered the ground, got a bit of hand, but it deflected away to the boundary. Two and two from Babar Azam. Yeah, Babar Azam must be hoping. Please, please, please keep on bowling me this length. 
keep on bowling me this length. And my team needs plenty of boundaries and keep obliging me. Same mistakes, mistake committed by the bowler, same result. He's been punished. Umpire was tested there. His speeds very well. Keep us in, keep us in. This is good. This is good. Good running from Barbar Azam. Urge his partner to run hard. This is good cricket. Have a look at this. Just a push. He's camper to it. Reach keep even keep before Sohan did. He says, come on, let's come back for the second run. Pushing his partner, as you said. And it worked. And it, what it does is put the pressure on the feet. Sibyl gets a hold of that. Puts it all the way. Once he is in line, shortens the length and is immediately punished with a maximum. Yeah, he's been focusing to pitch the ball outside the off stump. This time around, the ball landed on middle leg. And then it was quite short. Offered an opportunity to the captain Sohan to free his arms. But what is important that um, oh, but did it did it really get into the hands of the fielder? Reaction from uh, Shoriful Islam. Alauddin Babu is the fielder. As long as he stays there, Babar Azam, they will uh, feel that they can score a good total on the surface. Have another look. Flicked it. Yeah, yes. it did carry. It was dying on him. But uh, sort of. <laughs> I think that's that's plum. Yeah. He missed it all together, did Nurlazan Shohan, unless he got some part of bat in it. I think he was right in front, having a discussion with Babur Azam, and he's taken it. Ah, uh, the ball is. Can you show me when the ball passes next to the bat, please? Yeah, I'm satisfied. No bat involved. Original decision out. Pitching outside up. Impact in line. We get hitting. Can you take me to the on field umpire, please? I'll see if stay with your original decision out. You're on screen no, signal now. The decision is O U T. Yes, uh, in front. They cannot believe it. Uh, Noor Hassan, the skipper. Goes after a partnership of 50. The partnership broken. Gone for 26. Wrong for riders. 97 for three. Very much a possibility. Reeves is in the air, I think. Yes, he has gone. He's taken another one. Two wickets and it's over. So the change has certainly worked. And this is the precious wicket of Mohammad Nabi. He has to take the long walk back. What an over, what a change for Musadik Hussain. He's picked up not one, but two wickets in this over. That's the last one, and that two off Muhammad Nabi. Wanted to be a little bit cheeky. All it did was spoon it back to the keeper. He goes, he goes for one. Rangpur riders, all of a sudden, are 99 for four. Of the back foot, of the bat of Omar Zai. Push and run, gets a single, gets the 50. Barbar Azam is really on song, looking very cool, calm and collected. He's there with him. Controlled knock. Now if they are going to need Omar Zai to keep doing this. Just enough. That's what they're going to need in the last five overs. Just what the doctor ordered. Asmatullah Omar Zai looks quite slim, but he's got a strong arm. A very strong wrist, very wonderful hand-eye coordination. Full flurry of the bat. They have hung around for a while, giving an opportunity for the... Down the ground. Nicely played. He's hit it over the bowler's head, so generally you won't find anyone in that area. 
Mossadegh being uh, taken to the cleaners here by both the batters. Barbara Azam on that occasion really playing it straight enough, wide enough of any of the fielders, giving uh, no opportunity, as you mentioned, to stop that ball. Goes, doesn't quite get a hold of that, but still enough. I thought he had mistimed it, but the full flow of the bat took it racing away. That's the hardest he's hit it, Barbara Azam, but he was aided by the field not properly set. It was a wide-ish long on whose Pule came in. Here's an opportunity. And they get their man. Barbarazam it is. He sliced it. That is a crucial breakthrough. Barbarazam was looking so good. Gunatelekal can take a lot of credit. First two deliveries, just the three runs. Barbarazam goes the other way over extra. Doesn't quite get underneath that one. There's a flurry of the bat. It was high in the air and a good take. The ball was dying on Merab, the substitute, but he did well to latch onto it. And they're back in the game. Rangpur lose another one. Babar Azam gone. 462, 138 for five. We were anticipating that. And it's flying away. All the way for the maximum. Tremendous shot. Well, with this field, you've got to bowl full. You can't bowl length. Umar Zai, he picks it up. The angle of the field is perfect from Mosadek. But this man will take the fielder on. He does on this occasion. But coming. And that's along the ground, goes at speed. Oh, dear. Right through, slipped through his fingers and on to those uh, triangles get a boundary. 150 is on the board. They're moving along nicely and Alaudin's gone for 10 off three. I reckon the plan was right. His execution was fine. He obviously needed support from uh, the fielder. Now, it's not an easy task to find that particular gap. This time he waits and thumps it away. What a shot that is. Over the covers. Take that. Brilliant shot, and uh, 18 overs have been completed. Rangpur speed away. Oh dear, that's going to be a no ball. That's hit away. And slipped over through his fingers, and that is the no ball. And that is bonus. It's going to be a free hit. Go. Oh, expected. Free hit. All the way. One bounce into the rope. And six and a four. Pressure on Shoriful. It's turning out to be a sorry full over. And now, they might be even thinking 190. They are really hustling along. Shifted gears very, very quickly. And gets the toe in once again. And straight to hand. No control in that shot because he had to reach for it. And while in the process of reaching for it, he had no control. It flew nicely, well judged, but a very good knock from Omar Zai. Yeah, he's done a job, he's done a job, Omar Zai, once again, striking at 213. Now to the right hand at this angle, works better for Shoriful. Cruz Pule prays and hangs on to it. That's a timely wicket. Omar Zai, 32, 173 for six. All dissipated. It's uh, up in the air. Now, straight to hand. Yes, not enough far from uh, Shamim Patwari Ross. Doing the simple task of taking a simple catch. It was right there. Right there, but uh, the change of pace did him in. He was through the shot way too early. Shamim Patwari gone for 17. He's got that off eight balls. 175 for seven. Well, he struck it, but it's going to be. Oh, it's going to find its way now. To the boundary. I thought it's going to hold. Full toss. 
It's the inner part of the bat. Goes through for one. They are going to be in trouble. And uh, just thought that was not required. He hits that pretty well, but there is cover in the deep. They're going to scamper through for the second run. Here's the throw. They make it. Two runs added on. Takes the wrong for riders to 183. For the loss of eight wickets at the completion of their 20 overs, it's a good score. The king again. He got 62 held the innings together. Uh, prime bowler taking three wickets. One each shared by Taskin Shoriful Alauddin. And so the target for the Duttanta Dhaka team is 184. Well, uh, Shakib didn't uh, come on to bat, but he was the first to come out of... Uh, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Danushka Kona Tilaka. Mohamed Naeem Sheikh. Starts the first over. Bit of a shake coming back to the left-hander. Oh, that one came back in. Nicely bowled and given. He's given it in favor of the bowler. And uh, the batter is not even waiting. He's walking back to success in the very first over. It was a slippery delivery. It hurried. Kept a little bit low as well. And I think that's a good decision by the umpire. He was caught in the crease. Didn't even bother to challenge. Walked off straight away. Winner Talika is gone. Dhaka. Well, he's decided enough is enough. I'm going to go after it. And he's uh, hit that beautifully for the maximum. So he starts his inning with a six. It was right in the hitting arc. And Saima, you made no mistake. Fans. Down the leg side will be a wide. We'll have to wait. Yes, it is called a wide and it's gone to the boundary. Poor delivery. Ill directed that time from Omazai. An extra swing. Look at that. The keeper had no chance. Hassan Mahmoud is the new bowler. And he concedes the boundary. The, it's a bottom match, but it goes fine. There is a fielder at third, but has no chance whatsoever to stop that. Not where really he intended it, but nevertheless, they all count. Oh, lovely shot. That is a beauty to watch. Races to the boundary. That was a well-controlled stroke. They brought the third man a bit finer. And look at that. Just opened the face a little bit. Knew exactly where he wanted to hit it. And did it perfectly. Straight away. That's back-to-back -back fours. Hassan on the pressure. One-handed, but it'll uh, find the boundary. It was a short delivery. And now it's a turn of uh, Mama Naeem Sheikh. He gets going. Brought a little smile to his face because he knew he didn't hit it well. One-handed almost. But he got away with it. Not where he intended, but they all count. This time he's taken. Time I of trying to hit uh, that uh, ball over the top of that fielder at mid of and only looping it in the end. Pretty easy. Brendan King takes an easy catch. Omazai picks up another one. The pressure was taking his toll. Gave himself some room, trying to go over mid off. Only succeeding in picking out Brandon King at mid off. Easy catch. Saima Yub is gone for 17. At the end of five overs, Dhaka 31 for two. Come down the track. 
and it's in the air. Fielder underneath it, Brandon King makes it look easy and takes the catch. Well, he jumped out of the crease. All right. But wasn't able to time that stroke. Managed to hit the ball way in the air. No force behind that one. Nicely judged. And definitely the balling side at the moment controlling things. They are in charge. Rangpur Riders. Cross pull it. Goes for a duck. It's 32 for three. You're setting a total or chasing it. Old fashioned sway, but straight to the fielder. Hassan Murad held on to that one. What's happening there? The wheels are coming off. Fourth wicket has fallen. Yeah, went for the sweep. Was a locked it up from Naeem Sheikh straight to the chest of Hassan Murad on the onside. He goes for 9 of 15. There is a fielder, but it is uh, way out of Barbarazum's reach. Alex Ross unleashes the shackles. Yeah, footwork made that stroke. They came out of the crease with all the positivity in the world. And managed to hit the ball with all the certainty. And the result was sweet. batsman to go after that's a good hit not only timed that one placement was extraordinary as well Mustafa ex accepted the challenge he's taking it most importantly he's hit that shot and kept the ball along the ground now when you look to hit the ball very hard it's difficult to place the ball where you want to, but he bisects. Comes down the wicket yet again. This time he hits it straight and gets another boundary. Despairing effort in the deep from Brandon King. Yeah, that boundary of the third delivery where uh, Musadik was able to hit the ball through extra cover. Didn't deter Shakib to flight the ball. Once again, flighted the ball, asking the batsman to go after it. And the batsman is enjoying that. Get them going. Shot. That is a cracking cover drive. I remember watching uh, Mushfiq Rahim earlier on today. But this is beautifully struck from Alex Ross. Good evening, Russell. Good evening, Arthur. On the top of the bounce, the ball sliding on to the bat. Fielder in the deep. Move. He had no chance. Shakib. He tosses it up and he finds the gap. Alex Ross looks to be getting into the groove. Four more. They're getting a boundary of the first ball of every over. But they're not being able to capitalize yet because even in the last over, though they scored nine, the required rate went up. Now, Shakib. Very different way he's bowling, isn't it? He's bowling it over the moon. Again, he's a slot sweep that away from the fielder. Four to finish the over. Four to start the over, and then four. So that has been the area that he has been eyeing. That is a good shot. That is just a touch shot, and he's latched onto it very quickly. It's a four more to. Alex Ross, he's turning it on. And the pace on. Went quicker off the bat. You're digging it in, you can't leave it bouncing around the waist. That's the mistake Ripon made. Get it up at the throat. Make it uncomfortable. Still over 100 runs required. Yeah, he made some room and uh, just exposes the stumps. And this time he knocks the middle and off stump. Musad the the skipper goes. Straight. Yeah, just a bit of movement which uh, 
changes the angle of Mercedes bat. He's not been himself though. When he first burst on the scene, free flowing player, but it's been a struggle for the captain. 15 to him, 81 for five dark. Mid off and mid on. It's a short one. And I think he's uh, helped it on his way to the keeper. So he picks up another one. He'll be on a hat trick when he comes on to bowl his next over. If one Chukur goes for not. Well directed from Hassan Mahmood. But I thought uh, Irfan watched it. And he played it nicely. But couldn't get it over the keeper. He's got it off the glove. That's why it's not flown off. It was the bat. It would have been perfect. Cushion of the glove just taking the pace off. Then he bounces on the bat and rolls to the keeper. First ball duck. 81 for six duck. That's slapped away. On the offside, it's, it's going to be a boundary. He's played some lovely shots, hasn't he? Unfortunately, he's on his own. Ball shot. He put you away. Plays his cricket in Australia. They're very good at playing the bouncing ball, whether it be on the leg side or the offside. And now, of late, he's played quite a bit of cricket in the subcontinent and knows to handle spin well, too. Short ball has gone up, it's gone up. I think it might. Oh, oh. there was an, uh, definitely an opportunity. I thought it might have just gone away from the fielder, Hassan Mahmoud. He got into a position, nearly took it, and then dropped it. Oh, unfortunate. He did well to get there. That's it. Get the short one at the throat. He runs towards it and he's running at an angle. We... But he got, made good ground. That is beautifully played. Deft touch. Just uh, finding the gap and then uh, picking up a boundary. He's batted well. But he cannot find a partner. Nothing too wrong with the delivery, just clever play. Use the pace. Hassan Mahmood is quite fine. Usually you have a third man, but he's at four. It's a low full toss and there should be another boundary. It is. Takes him to 48. Seven fours and a six. Last ball of the 15th coming up. He's got 10 off this over, but still way behind that required rate, which is now. Is he going to come back for the second? He is coming back for the second. So he'll pick up his 50. 12 in that over after 15. Dhaka, the hundreds on the board, 100 for six. The ball out of the ground is going to result like. Something like that is uh, given Shakib a soft wicket, if I might call it. Just kept the ball straight and he's all over it and has beaten all ends up and it hit Timber. More woes for the Dudanko Dakar. Went so far across and that hit the leg stump and the wicket of Shakib Al Hassan. Goes and misses completely. He does not miss. Hassan, Mehdi Hassan, aims that ball straight at the stumps. You miss. I hit. And he's got his man. Swinging across the line. Missed it completely. It was a flat delivery. A little bit of pace on it. And took the off stump. And it's all over for the Dakar. They're in big. They could be bowled out inside 20 overs. Alex Ross, the man who kept the innings together, gave them hope. He's going for a well played 51. The Dakar, 102 for 8. Very full on strike. Ah, gets a hold of that. How far is that going? Straight to hand. That was on the cards. He was not going to hang about. It was down the line. Sure, full. It's caught in the deep by Muhammad Nabi. A lot of heights, but no distance. 
And Mohamed Nabi got a good pair of hands. He wasn't going to drop that. Easy catch at long on. But Nabi, couple of steps to his right, took it quite comfortably in the night sky. No issues whatsoever. And well, it seems uh, the innings is over with the end of uh, Shoriful. It's uh, last batter possibly not going to be coming in. 104 for nine. A little bit of confusion as to whether the last man is going to be in. They're still uh, waiting in the middle. Bemused smiles all around. Yeah, Taskin Ahmed was not in the ground in the last uh, due in the last innings. He did not bowl, and he's decided that he's not going to come out possibly unfit, and that is rather bizarre end to the game. And uh, Dhaka Durdanto Dhaka have folded to 104 for nine, and uh, Taskin Ahmed not coming into bad. The, Game is over. Mehdi finishes with three for 11. There's the card, Durdan Dhaka. Very, very sorry looking scorecard, except for that 51 in the middle by Ross. 51 of 35, only man to put up any kind of resistance to the Rangpur Riders bowlers, but it was all to no avail. And they folded for 104 for nine. And that tells the story. Except for Ripon, everyone got into the wicked act. Two for Omazai, bowled brilliantly. Mahedi was exceptional. Two for Hassan, one each for Nabi and Shakib. And that tells the whole story why they were 104 for nine. That's what's transpired. The match summary, Rangpur Riders posting 183 for 804 was the reply for nine. Rangpur Riders winning by 79 runs. <laughs> For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.